In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. Well, that all seemed a little bit pointless then, didn't it? Hey, Fortescue. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to yet another Gaming Shenanigans. First one I've done in quite a while, actually. Uh, for Medieval. Uh, I've never played this game before. So this is a first for me. I never played the PS1 version. Um, and I haven't played this remake yet either. So I wanted to do a Gaming Shenanigans and I saw this sitting on the shelf and thought, I think today is about time. Everybody is currently quarantined. So... <laughs> There's no better time to sit down and play a game now than, than now, really. Oh wow, okay. This all looks very good. I have seen the beginning cutscene for Medieval. Um, in fact, I might have watched my brother play the first half an hour of it at some point in the past, because I do distinctly remember seeing uh, the beginning of Medieval before. Uh, but that might just be from watching uh video on, on Medieval, so... Oh my god. Oh. Jesus, he looks like an undead version of Jafar from Aladdin. Ah. The fuck? Mm. Ugh, what an ugly bastard. Oh. I'm just gonna watch this for a second here. Okay, I'm guessing he's brought everyone back from the dead because that's the general gist of this game so far as I understand it This guy brings all the dead people back from the dead uh, And it's like an undead army sort of thing like Game of Thrones. He sort of Like the more they kill the, the bigger their army grows sort of thing And your whole purpose in this game Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he also takes over the living as well. It seems um yeah, and your point in this game is to basically defeat all of these things that are in your way and uh, and defeat the sorcerer here. What's his name again? Zarek? Something like that? I can't bloody remember what his name is. Hold on, I've got the uh, the case sitting somewhere. Oh, it's behind me. Hold on. Uh, Zarok, there it is. Resurrected by the evil sorcerer Zarok. Yeah, so he, he, he sort of raises the dead, but also raises Fortescue with the dead. Perhaps he underestimated him, I don't know. I have not a damn clue. Also, this is going to be obviously a little longer, a Gamey Shenanigans video, because big cutscene at the beginning, but hey-ho, it, it is what it is sometimes. Um... The beginning of this game is quite simple, so far as I remember being told. Uh, also, that that was just the, the cutscene, actually, at the beginning. Now we have to actually start the game for real, so we've got the start menu here. 
I had to do like a little bit of fiddling about to make sure all the sound uh, was good before I started recording this. Which actually I might have turned it down a bit too much possibly. Uh, I'm going to turn it back up before we start. But there he is, there's Mr. Fortescue himself. Do you need help there kitty? Need a little bit of help? Yeah, for some reason it's got a load game option even though I exited the game beforehand. Okay, there we go, new game. Let's do it. Start from the get go. So, how has everybody been? Um, now that we're getting started with the video proper, how has everybody been? It's been a wild start to 2020. Um, I haven't really done a game of shenanigans in which I can sort of talk about anything but the game since 2020 started. I did some Far Cry stuff, but that was, I was talking with my brother and we weren't, uh, that was in January, actually. So that was before any of this uh, coronavirus stuff got really bad. But yeah, uh, as of as of recording this this uh, video today, it is it is currently the uh, the 17th of March, 2020, and uh, the coronavirus is in its peak at the moment, um, or at the peak of what it has been at least. Anyway, uh, there's like I don't know 190,000 people infected worldwide at the moment, and uh, all the countries are currently quarantining um, or asking people to quarantine. So. I went to the dentist yesterday. That was that was something I did. Just just not even giving a fuck about the coronavirus. I had a hole in my tooth. I needed a filling. So I went to the dentist and got a filling. And now I have a piece of metal that's now permanently attached to my face. Um, but there you go. That's that's great. Also that that's not as grandiose as it sounds. It's just it's just a metal filling. It's just a little hole in my tooth. They they opened it a bit, cleaned it out and uh, and filled it in with some metal. So that's all it was. Nothing, nothing grandiose. I didn't get braces or anything. Um, I probably should have gotten braces when I was younger, to be honest, because my teeth are so, like, off. You know, um, they, 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 they sort of grew in a weird way. They're semi-straight, but they're not, like, perfectly straight. You yeah, know, that's what braces are, are for. If your teeth don't grow perfectly straight, you can use braces to make them sort of slowly bend into, into a straighter shape. And uh, I, I just don't, I never bothered with that. Because braces are such a pain in the ass. you have to have them for quite a while. And like you can't eat certain things, um, you have to constantly maintain them and make sure that, you know, that, that they don't get damaged in any way. You know, there's, there's a lot of stress involved in, in making sure that braces work properly and do what they're supposed to do. And I just haven't, like I, I've been stressed out enough as it is without needing something else to worry about in my life. But anyway, you must be out enough of, of my life currently. Um, there's lots of story here to get into. Medieval. Uh, as far as I am aware, this is a hack and slash game. So if we just sort of press buttons here. Oh, oh, I have ripped my arm off and now I'm swinging it around. Okay. I'm guessing these are all tutorial books. Also, they all read to you as well, which means I don't actually have to read myself, which is pretty great. Also, I don't even have to really pay attention if I don't want to, because if this is just a hack and slash game, we're not going to get too far into it today, which means I'm not going to need to worry all too much about focusing. I just need to hack and slash away. Um, my God, loads of stuff's happened since the beginning of this year, though, that I haven't got a chance to talk about at all. I think I tried to do a video where I talked about stuff. Did I, did I actually manage that or not? I can't even fucking remember, to be honest. Life has been pretty weird since 2020 started, not just because of the coronavirus thing, but be because of lots of other stuff too. Um, Aaron's been, uh, my brother Aaron has been moving about a lot. Uh, he's actually coming back down to London today, which I, I'm worried that he's not going to be able to get back up to where he lives, actually. Because if, if the country starts quarantining and, and travel like starts closing, he uses coaches to get about. Coaches being like, you know, uh, you sit there in an enclosed space with tons of other people for like five hours, you know, to go a couple hundred miles. Yeah, you know, that's that's I don't think those businesses are going to stay open much longer if quarantines are going to be taking effect. Um, so I, I do worry about that. Also, hold on. There was something back here. I'm not fucking going out yet. Oh, my God. Like, there's lots of stuff back here. OK, it was that the way out. that I just looked at, I guess. Oh my god, so much stuff. Some weapons, some weapons could tell, okay. I'm paying some attention to what's being said here. Just a little bit. So yeah, anyway, my, my brother is definitely uh, going to be down today. Uh, because so far as I know, uh, coaches haven't been told to stop business yet. 
Um, but uh, he will be only down for a few days. He's just he wanted to, or, or at least he's supposed to only be down for a few days. He wanted to come and sort out his stuff that he needs to take to his new place that he's moved into. So, uh, and that's all uh, down in London here. So. He's just coming to make sure that's all sorted out and, and you know, get it all back. But God knows if he actually will or not, considering what I just said about quarantines and stuff. So, hey, I got a sword, baby. Look at me. I've got a sword. I'm a sword boy and I'm swinging. Hold on, wait a minute. I can swing my sword, sword, swing my diamond sword, sword. You cannot afford, afford, afford my diamond sword, sword. There you go. There's a really, really old reference for you if you actually know where that's from. Because I have no idea if anybody will actually remember that or not. But yeah, that was a thing once once in a lifetime. Um, <clears throat> Alright, anyway. We can now leave. And out we go. A nice basic area to get us into the gist of things. Let's have another read. Uh, okay, cool. Nice, I get it. I get the picture. Good stuff. I'm really excited for this, actually. It's going to be a really exciting experience for me. Um, <clears throat> the last game I actually played, uh, on video at least, was Far Cry 5. Um, before that, uh, or oh, sorry, after that, I was playing... Uh, oh, wow, okay, I can only go... Oh, I can only go one way. Okay, cool. Next level, I guess. Uh, after... After Far Cry 5, I uh, went over to the Xbox 360. Um, I kept thinking that Cast of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, the remake on the 360 arcade, was being removed and then put back. But it was just a weird like glitch in my pins menu on the 360. Um, but I really wanted to play that remake because I played the original version and, and I just kind of wanted to play something different for once. And uh, so I, I purchased that, that uh, remake because I didn't already have it. And uh, oh. His hand is is not doing anything. Okay, cool. Uh, and and so I, I I bought it and I played that, and it was fun. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, I beat it a few days ago. It was super duper fun. Uh, anyway, uh, en enough about that. Let's actually Welcome focus on this game for a second. Oh yeah. Yeah, Kadikarus made this game seem really, really good. Um, like the way he described it and talked about it, it's just it's just this idea that you know you actually aren't as amazing a hero as everyone thought you to be, and uh, and you have to sort of That's earn that like right to be that hero uh, by by you know doing what you should have done when you didn't. Um, I, I'm not explaining the story very well here, but but because of Kadikarus, I know what the story of this game is and the general gameplay mechanics. But uh, essentially, you, Daniel Fortescue, were the king's uh, bitch boy, if you were. Like, he liked you a lot. And uh, he, he gave you the right to lead the militia into battle with, with no real reason. You didn't deserve it, but he gave it to you anyway because he liked you. Um, and you fell. You were, like, the first one to fall during the battle. <laughs> And uh, oh shit! Okay, I got hit. And uh, and uh, but but because you were like you know the king's favourite, uh, he he still like wrote like he, he made everyone talk good of you and and made you into a hero after your death. But then when you get awoken in this game, you have to sort of earn that right to be that hero that you actually weren't, um, which is great. I love it. I think that's a great way of doing this. Um, also, I'm liking the, the basic hack and slash action so far. I'm looking forward to, like, you know, how complex it gets as time goes on. Uh, also, I'm, I'm definitely doing something wrong here, like, in terms of not taking damage, because I'm taking damage every time I, uh, I go near people. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, wait. Earth rune needed. Okay, right, I need an earth rune. Oh, is that health? Oh, okay. Is it? Oh, okay. Is this going to tell me that it's a health thing? Hello. There we Don't go. Let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into. Okay. Cool. Thanks for the tutorial, lady. Um. Oh, and there's there's like a yeah. Okay. I need I need another rune there. Okay. Cool. I have to do a little bit of doom stuff here. I have to like look around a bit. There, there's like a stone here. I can't get through that. Where must I go? What must I do? Oh, okay, right. It's, it's right there. I was just being a fucking idiot, that's all. 
Just being a bloody fool. As per usual. Oh yeah, that is good stuff. That is good stuff. Oh. Oh, I'm very fond of this. Okay. That felt really good to do. That genuinely did feel really good to do. Okay, money. Money! Ain't got a lot of money in, boy. But if I did, I'd buy a big house where we all could live. All right. More, more ways to go. Okay, hello, friends. Do you want to build a snowman? Because I can, I can make that happen. I can indeed make that happen. There we go. All right, let's rejuvenate a bit. Give me that rejuvenation. Thank you very much. I enjoy that. Oh, man. The music is really good, too. I really enjoy the music. I've got to sort of get used to the controls and the combinations and, like, make sure I understand how not to take damage and stuff. That's going to be a thing that we'll have to, I'll have to learn. But it's, it's a slow process. It's a slow process learning video games. Um, okay, right, there we go. Oh, oh, he actually managed to hit me. Okay, I thought I'd done better there. I thought I'd done did better. Oh, look, there's one of those uh, secret chalice things. You have to sort of um, figure out how to get to those. They're like secret things. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it. And you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect. Awesome. Me, me and collectibles, we go together like ham and cheese. Gotta love those collectibles, boy. I'm a big fan. Okay. Come here, friend. Life is calling. Okay, right. Uh, I wonder how many souls it takes to, to collect that chalice. I'll find out, I suppose. There's a door here, which I can't open. How do I open you? Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, I've got throwing knives out now for some reason. Okay. Beyond these skull gates. Okay, cool. I get it. I gotta collect things. I gotta do things. I am an important I'm an important boy. Oh shit, okay. Uh fuck. Okay, right. I'm not doing a very good job here. Okay, cool. My goodness, I am really not doing a good job here. <laughs> I should really try harder. Uh, okay, let's let's take a second. Let's take a second to just like get a bearing of our surroundings a little, because I'm su I'm super like chuffed with this. This is a really good game so far. Um, I mean, obviously it's the beginning of the game, so it's quite simple compared to what it will get to. I'm I'm imagining anyway. It is a remake though uh, of a PlayStation One game, and the only PlayStation One games I played are pretty simple ones. So I'm gonna get some health back. Look at this. Look, I am a I'm a big boy now. I'm a big boy now. Can get me some health. Hell yeah. Awesome. <laughs> just, just cheap, cheaping it. Get ch it's cheap. Make it cheap. Uh, what am I even saying? Good grief. How do I know how full the chalice is? I can't really see how full it is. So This door over here isn't going to open yet. So that's something that we'll have to come back to. Uh, I think I switched. Like... Ah, uh, there we go. Right, okay. I switched from my sword to my uh, throwing knives, um, which I didn't want to do. Oh, man. I love the music. The music's great. Actually has, like, a real good vibe to it. <laughs> man. Oh, hello. The chalice has now been unlocked. Well, that's fucking brilliant, isn't it? That's what I've always wanted. A chalice. I actually do have a chalice, weirdly enough. Here you go, let's just segue into a random story from my real life. Um, I used to be a pretty misbehaved kid when I was little. And uh, there, there were like, you know, uh, rewards that you'd be given for... Um, hold on, there we go. There we go, right, I did it. Yay. 
there'd be rewards you'd be given for um uh for behaving uh and i wasn't the only kid that got these awards but these are like behavior awards you know this is fucking dumb shit that, that they used to do with kids i don't know if they still do it today uh, but I still have one of these things they gave me, and it was a little chalice, you know, that was, like, for good behavior. And it actually says, uh, my, it's got my name in it, and it says, for good behavior. Oh, hello, I've got another potion. Um, I kept it, but it is an actual chalice, a, a silver chalice. I think it's silver-plated, but, um, yeah, it's, it's really weird to still own that, knowing that it was given to me in jest, because teachers just don't give a fuck. <laughs> It's like, oh, you behaved? Okay, here's a here's a little a little medal for you, good boy. It's like, oh, so fucking dumb looking back on it, but hey, that's life, you know. That's life. As funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks stomping on a dream. Hello, friends. Do you want to die? Because I can make that happen for you. Oh man, this is actually really good. I just get to fucking run around, hacking and slashing, having a good old time. But there's a bit of energy regen up here and some money. Yeah, give me that energy regen. Uh, okay, what, what am I looking at here? Is there any secrets? Any secrets? Okay, nothing I can see. Cool beans. Oh, hello! Hi, friends! Hello! Are you ready for death? Because I can make that happen. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. No. Okay. That was something that needed to happen, apparently. Hi. How you doing? You dead now? Cool. He's dead. All right. Let's read a book. Feel read a book. Read a book. Read a motherfucking water, book. But don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> okay. So I suppose we can't actually swim in deep water then as a... Uh, as, 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 as Daniel Fortescue. Little Daniel Fortescue. Look at him. Look, he, he doesn't even have a jaw. He's such a cute little boy. All right, let's go. We've got things to do. Uh, oh, okay, we're back to the shallow end. Cool. And is that it? Is that the end of the level? Talk to the gargoyle. Tread softly. Zerica waits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. I love that voice. That voice from, like, I swear to God I recognise that voice from somewhere. Although I have to say, a lot of the voices in this game are actually, uh, uh, like, celebrities. Uh, weirdly enough, um, or, or at least w w were be cele celebra- what? What? <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind here. Okay. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. And what of you, sir? Do you have anything to say? Oh, hello. Oh, okay, hold on. Is this the only guy that can give me anything right now? I'm just wondering, hold on. Let's have a little look around. Oh, I, I unlocked something now. I didn't even notice what it said. To What's it say? homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Okay. Cool beans. What say you? Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardar. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> nice. That was pretty funny. Alright, cool. So, uh, chalices equal special weapons. 
cool. And then there's more of them that we can talk to eventually, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of stuff. I'd imagine this chalice is, yeah, telling us how many chalices we have total. Oh, cool. It, like, puts them on the table, too. So, I, I imagine once we've got them all, the whole table will have chalices on it. There's got to be so many little secrets in this game that I'm, I'm going to have to find, which is going to be great for me, because I love my secrets. Hold on. I want to talk to this guy quickly. Is this guy just, like, refilling? Oh, okay. You can pay him to refill your ammo. Okay, cool. All right, cool. I get it. I get it. I've already been refilled, though. So, I'm good. Next level we go. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? We're getting close to 30 minutes here, so we're not going to get much chance to do the next level. Um, uh, I'll, I'll start the next level, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. So, the next level is up. Yep. Up we go. How big is this map, I wonder? I can see it's a scroll at the side there, but um, I wonder how big it actually is. This is, this is the, the kind of little things I've never looked at, you see. You know, I only watched Kadikarus's video about medieval. I've never actually seen a lot of this, like, little nitty-gritty bits, you know, like like the where the secrets are and, and, like, all these little details, like the map and all these kinds of things. Like, there's still lots of things for me to learn about, sure. It's going to be really fun. Um, and I'm going to basically be playing this for, I don't even know, a couple of weeks. Depending on how long this quarantine lasts, I'll probably end up playing this and then playing something else afterwards. It's not going to take me more than a week to beat this if I play it every day anyway. That's just kind of how I work <laughs> when it comes to video games. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Nice. His voice is pretty fucking cool, isn't it? Who did Kidikura say the voice of, uh, of, of Zaurok was? I forgot. Oh, wow. What a cool shot. Holy shit. That is such a cool shot. I love that. Oh, my God. I've got my crossbow. Uh, oh, uh, there was a, a guy there. There he is. Hey, look. Three shots to kill an enemy. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Some okay. obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. Awesome. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to stand here for a minute because I don't think I'm going to get very far uh, with the time I've got left to this video. And I kind of want to end it a little early anyway. Um, I was going to go for 30 minutes, but you know what? A lot has been said and a lot has been done. And I've had a lot of fun. Um, it's been weird, like I said, since 2020 started, but... I still have my plans, I still have my ideas, uh, there are actually other videos coming, hopefully if this one uh, and the next one that I'm about to record come out this week, then uh, next week uh, I've started a new series, which isn't really a new series, it's just I've taken my Banjo 2 playthrough from last year that I did with my brother, uh, and I've cut it down into bite-sized parts. Um, and I've uploaded 10 of those already, uh, which are going to be three per week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week up until like April 1st or something like that, I think is, is number 10, part 10. Uh, and during that period of time when those are going up, I'm going to be making the next 10 parts and the next 10. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much like all I've got for, for 2020 for now, other than like the occasional stuff like this. Um, but otherwise, you know, I'm just waiting, just being patient, uh, just playing whatever I feel like playing, and, uh, and I'm going to be playing this uh, for the next god knows how long. So, thank you very much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed, and I'll uh, see you in part two. Bye!